I'm Beth from Twinkle and today we're going to be talking about teaching word processing skills to children. Now these days in computing we tend to think that there's more of an emphasis on coding and programming, which is true, but that isn't to say that skills like word processing aren't still relevant. Using programs like Microsoft Word, Google Docs or Apple Pages have got loads of benefits for children. Writing on a computer reinforces other writing skills like good spelling and good grammar. That's why here at Twinkle we have developed a great scheme of work designed to help you teach children everything they need to know about word processing. Let's take a look. This scheme of work contains six lessons. Each lesson pack has a class presentation, a lesson plan, a success criteria and additional resources to enhance the lesson. The first lesson teaches some basic typing skills. Many children will initially type one-handed or with one finger and will hunt and pick for the correct letters. Encouraging children to use two hands from the start, placing their pointer fingers on the F and J, stops children from developing bad typing habits and allows children to pick up the keyboard layout quicker. Make sure to practice using the shift key to type capital letters and symbols. Spend some time becoming familiar with the location of commonly used symbols, such as the exclamation mark, the pound sign and the question mark. To extend this learning, challenge your child to type sentences involving these symbols. They could write a sentence including a question mark or exclamation mark on paper first and then try to type it on the screen. Another skill explored in this unit is editing text. Discuss how a red line can show a spelling mistake and a blue line can show a grammatical error. However, this isn't foolproof and children still do need to check their work. Practice moving the cursor using the mouse or arrow keys and using backspace to delete. This lesson pack includes some sentences to edit. Discuss. Are there any clues that there is a problem with this sentence? Can they edit it using their typing skills? If there are still red lines, can they find the problem? Even if there are no lines left, could there still be mistakes? In this unit, we also look at formatting text. Take children through how to change text to bold, italic and underlined. Discuss why you might want to use this formatting. You can also look at changing the size of the text. Finally, get creative and try changing the colour of the text. To extend this learning, you could use these challenge cards. Let children independently explore formatting the text and consider the different reasons why they may format text in a particular way. That's it for now. We hope you have fun discovering word processing. See you next time.